So, hello there. Um, I'm just ending uh, the day's work. I shouldn't even call it ending the day's work because I, I, I think I've been out here about two and a half hours. But I was making some number 12s and I wanted to do a video just not on throwing, but um, when I go and uh, show people how to make pots, a lot of times I'm, I'm kind of amazed at how much work they have to put into cleaning up. So this is just going to be a quick video on, uh, you know, 50 years of being on the wheel that, that there are some really extremely simple things uh, uh, for just cleaning up after your work. So that's what's coming. <laughs> So, of course, the most important thing is that the materials are put away in such a way that they're going to be happy the next day. So, if I have any bits of clay left around, they're all going to be put away. So, I have off of this wheel, I'm just going to use my thumb to do a very quick pull of that material. I have a little bit of clay over here that's drying out. So I can just put these two together and get them put out of the way. So this will go in the pug tomorrow. Here's some clay my wife put away throwing earlier today. Now, this is magic. So firstly, I don't know if I can grab this thing so I can see it a little bit better, but I'm just going to grab this and point it first. Let's see. So there's my clean water. Here's the wheel and the workspace. And there's the bucket for my, let's see, I kind of can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, so there's the bucket for the, the um, you know, the dirty water. So what I'm going to do, let's see, is that going to stay? Okay, so this big sponge, and it's even easier with two of them. But what's really, really important is to get sponges with water. And when you, the more water you put to it, the faster things come away. So in other words, a really wet sponge takes away a lot of stuff very, very, very quickly. I mean, I've seen people take a little sponge and sort of play around with a wheel, and it's half an hour, you know, and it really doesn't have to be. So again, you move more material if the sponge has a lot of water in it. So if you find a spot that has, you know, something stuck on it, instead of sort of scraping at it, if you just give it a more water, it'll it'll clean up very quickly. Now I could get fussy about this, but basically you just don't want to have anything that the next day is going to be dry clay. And let me just clean around where my foot was. And that's pretty much that. So, let me put this so I can see what I'm doing here. So, my hands, you know, from the day's work are uh, 
just as bad. So again, nice full thing of water. Last year I was working on some very hard clay and I ended up uh, pulling my wrist, uh, which I've always said to people, you know, if you just are careful, you never do that. Well, I had some very, very, very heavy uh, hard clay and I was making a 50 pounder. So, it, but so a very cool trick if you, you know, if pottery is your livelihood, you know, I mean, on the internet, they say things like, oh, just, you know, stop using your wrist for six months. So what I do is I use um, from the place like CBS a piece of this, I don't know what you even call it, it's some kind of, you know, stretchy stuff. And, but anyway, each day after I'm done with it, I wash that out too. And I'll hang, I'll hang this one up. Now, the important thing to say, you, you can spend an hour with soap and water trying to get your hands clean, right? Um, and clay has these fine particulates. So there comes a moment, and I'll take you over to my other bench. I guess I'll have to turn on some lights. Let's see. So if I turn this around like that, I can see where we're going. Okay. So I have, I'm going to come over here and turn on another light. There we go. So here's clean water. I mean, really clean water. So what I'm going to do, let's see, can I put this here? Yeah. And I'll get all my materials. So firstly, I get the thing that I, my little piece of cloth, I take it and put it someplace to dry. And you can see I got more masking tape up here. So that's for the next day setting up that. That's what that's about. Oh, that's okay. I don't have to. Now this is kind of a wasteful thing. And I know a lot of people are, I guess you could use a cloth to do this. I'm going to turn this so I can see it. Okay. So paper towel, inexpensive hand cream. And I'll add to my hand cream, I'll add something like a third vegetable oil of some sort of thing. So I want, you want this stuff to be very, very, very loose and wet. But you could spend half an hour with soap and water and leave, the, leave a pottery shop and get cracked hands. So all the little particulates of clay are still in there. And if I was working with red clay, you would be able to see this really, really well. Being white clay, you won't see it. But what I'm gonna do is get every place where there's been clay wet. This is going to be one of the most useful videos you've ever had if you're working in pottery because uh, everybody I know ends up with split hands and this just... So I'm just going to take this stuff. Come on. It's time to start a new one. Okay, that's funny. Okay, so see, I got a real squirt of that stuff, right? And my hands are kind of wet already, but I'm gonna get them even wetter. Okay, so there's this oily, wet slurry all over every place. And you get it under your cuticles. People's thumbs always crack, so you get it into those spots. 
and you want to get all the glass particulates away from your skin. So I know this is wasteful. My, my wife is very careful about not using a lot of paper, but I take a real batch of paper and I wick away all of that wet oil that I've just put all over my skin. And no kidding, this is transformative. There is nothing better for getting the clay out of your skin. So, and I don't know what other kinds of work, but anything with a with heavy particulates, uh, water uh, to just loosen up um, a very, very light kind of oily material. I mean, the important part is that there's oil and wicking it away onto a piece of paper. Um, you'll never have a split finger again, I promise you. Um, so, and there are, t I'll do this once or twice a day. Uh, and it leaves your skin sort of, you know, a little oily, but it, um, it really saves you. So, this is really the more important part of what I wanted to give today. Um, anyway, all my best to everybody out there, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.